Hello everybody, Bird Guy here, and welcome back to Shapes 2. Alright, last episode we managed to uh, get this uh, little shape up and running. I did do a few things between episodes. Let me just go back out here. I ended up doubling up our process here. Um, I switched this out so it came out and made its own line. And then I gave each one of these their own kind of like line and made two rows um, just because it was a little bit faster and it kind of helps us out for today so what we need to do now is uh, we'll just remove these should have done that to begin with and then um, <laughs> we're going to take these flip them so that way the red is facing the opposite way so let's do that now stackers and then we'll put a row here we'll have you guys come up and there so regardless whether <clears throat> how fast this is going to be it doesn't really matter because it's just me waiting and we're going to continue on afterwards so that's pretty much well the fix for that one so it was pretty easy so I'll wait for these 4,000 uh, to get done and then uh, we'll work on the next one. So the next, oh wow, we got this one done. Wonder what that does. Let's claim it. Oh, you still, it's, oh, it's never ending. There's even more to do. Amazing. All right, so, oh, you earn science research points. Oh, okay, so now I get it. So that's how you're gonna have to get extra, um, extra stuff for your upgrades. Oh, nice, okay cool we're learning <laughs> all right so i'm gonna get this over and done with and we'll be back to uh do the next one the next one is where we're gonna put the star on top of it so that's gonna be pretty easy to do um our star is here so we just gotta more or less combine these two here and uh see how that goes i'll probably end up having to move this back a little bit and then bring in the other line in front of it and then put it back on the belt. That's probably what we'll do. Oh, I doubled up our spaghetti mess here there and balanced out our red ones a little bit. And now our belt is a little bit more full. So I think this will help with uh, making our, our objective milestone a little bit better. And at the same time too, it'll be good for when we start using the next piece. At least we'll be working with a full belt and not like a uh, partial. So a little while later, we managed to uh, finish off our milestone. So I was looking at the paint system and um, I figure I might try this. Uh, we'll have our paint come through the middle. Our pieces are going to go this way to get painted and this way to get painted. And then all the painted pieces go to the top. It looks a little bit nicer. Um, you get the same functionality of what I have over there, but in one kind of nice little jobber like that. So that doesn't look too, too bad, I think. So I think I'm going to keep this design as to oppose the other one. We'll see how well that furnishes for pieces. Um, we'll have to drop one down. And then this one can stay up top. And then we'll see how that furnishes or whatever. Eh, who knows. Alright, so in the meantime, while that goes, uh, we're going to come over here and we're going to play with this one a little bit. So we can remove that. And we can remove this. Should be able to do that just on a single one here like this we can move that there so now we'll have whatever pieces coming here to there uh, just have to set up a simple I don't want paint there we go uh, one, two three four, five six that's fine this will be at the bottom and you will come to the top. And that will be our piece. Hopefully. 
Then if we zoom out, can I connect that to there? Hmm. Well, I'll have to do it like this, right? Yeah, I love the jank. Love the jank. So this should technically work. Um, should hook up both, right? Because I don't know why that bottom one is so slow. I'm just going to put it on the bottom. Very bizarre, very bizarre. I don't know why one lags. It's because of the red ones. Why are you so laggy? Top ones are fine, but the bottom ones are not. Oh, it probably has to do with something over here. Probably have to uh, double all this up. That's probably what that is. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. So you should be coming in now. That's our piece. Uh, I should uh, maybe put that in the right way. Uh, need to go with the second one. There we go. And then we come back over here. And it's probably not going to be any of these. Probably be this one right here. That's what I thought. There we go. And then that's another piece completed. Yay. Awesome. So we'll see where that is. So it's definitely not going to be like a full belt, but it works for me. Alright, so I think Big Burno guy here there figured it out. <laughs> it was my original balancing coming off. I don't know why I was having it. Oh, I think I know why, because the other way it was set up, I had a high and a low, and I had to split those up. But this works a lot better by the looks of it, because now I'm one row is furnishing there. Really, technically, this one should have furnished here, and that one should have furnished over there, but doesn't matter. I like the janky, uh, the jankiness of it. Just fits the character, right? All right, so I noticed earlier that, uh, when I cut that I wasn't doing the same right piece at all, so, um, we needed to really re this whole thing. So we were doing, like, uh, the doubles on both sides. We had to split and stack in the whole nine yards, so... This is kind of what I came up with. So I just took the incoming ones that we already had. I just flipped them, cut them, and flipped them again, and then restacked them. So now we have kind of like a, a full row of this. I wanted to kind of do the double stacking in here, but I don't think I'm going to have enough room. So I'm probably going to have to do like a another pad next to it. We'll see how, how all this turns out. Uh, we'll move you out of the way. And we'll put you there. I put you on the very first row. Oh, that means I have to reconnect that. Oh, can we get out of there, please? Alright, let's go back here. Uh, these I'll just put in the garbage for now. So after a little bit of playing around here, we got her going. Um, got everything split up here, restacked on both sides. Then we have one side going as is. The top row has to get flipped. So that way we have this uh, opposite checkerboard pattern, just like up in here, because I wasn't paying attention again. <laughs> And then we come back down hither, and these ones have to get flipped, so that way the, the green is on top of the reds. Um, I'm just working out the extra backlog here. This should be starting to be the good ones, yeah. So these should all be good now, I think. Oh no, not yet. Okay, once again figured out that uh, I was flipping these when I shouldn't be flipping them but these look good so we can send these off now and then those will count towards our finished milestone nice
Okay, so these pieces are seem to be going. I'm going to wait for the 14k to get done because we want to unlock the next milestone, which is the trains. So I want to go and try to play maybe with these a little bit before we end the episode and see how they work and what's the purpose. And yeah, anyways, we'll be back. All right, so I tried to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, I went with something like this where we're sending all the pieces. I added a little bit more to it as well, like an extra cell. So that way, see if we can make these pieces a little bit faster. Um, seems like we're doing a full belt as to oppose just like a partial belt. So if this still remains kind of like the same, I'll be happy. And then we'll get through our pieces a lot faster. So um, I think just having it in a straight production line, look, it's starting to look a little bit cleaner. I'm starting to do a little bit better of a job, I think. Uh, and beautiful. We've done it. So I did a little bit of jiggering in between um, setting up this, having this uh, all done. So I upgraded this section so that way it was uh, a little bit faster. I changed out our paint system so it was like uh, we originally done over here. Um, over here I did a bunch of rebalancing and changing things out and uh, right now I think it's just our stackers that are slow so I think that's why we mostly have uh, holes in our system if our stackers were a little bit faster I think we would be okay but uh, that's that so let's go check out our milestone we'll unlock trains oh my god this looks insane That looks absolutely crazy. See, you really need a, like a fast input in order to uh, in order to fill up these trains. That's pretty insane. That's crazy. All right, I don't know how much we're going to be doing trains right off the bat though, but uh, so I figure we're going to keep going with our milestones. Um, that way we can just keep unlocking what's what's to come and keep feeding our stuff into the into the vortex. So I think we're going to start off with this piece right here. And I was looking at it, and I think what we can do is right here, we can take this piece, get rid of that, take this piece, and add it together, then paint everything, and that will be our piece. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. I think it'll be a good plan, a very good plan. So we'll just uh, put a platform where... Put a platform like right here. Yeah, we'll start there. All right, so for this section right here, we just need to get rid of the square. So this works out really good. And then we just need to flip it to match this one right here, which is really nice that we have them side by side to compare. And then now all we have to do is connect these all up here like this in some janky way, form or another. There we go. Now we got all those connected. These are all going here. I am going to just add a trash can temporarily to these. Because I did notice I screwed up. That's why I went back to get rid of those. Uh, they seem to be all good now. Alright, so now we're just going to need to plop four of these on top of each other. So let's go ahead and set something like that up. Okie dokie, so now we got each lane furnishing their own little thing, so I think this should be fine. Now we'll just um, go to the middle on these two. This one can go on the outside, and that one can go on the outside. <clears throat> there we go. Now we just got to get these things painted. So now what we'll do is we'll bring in our paint thingamabobber that I did. Uh, doo -doo -doo, this one right here. Let's uh, flip that. So which way is which? All right. So that seems right. Should be able to just grab this. Shall bring it out one. Take this. Put that there. So that should be bringing me items. Now I should be able to just put.
pull off of this and send paint there. And this should be all green. Oh, crap. There's just the exit, though. Are there... Space belt tunnel entrance. How does that work? Oh, you can go underneath. Oh, sexy. All right. This could be our little bit of a savior. So what if I do an entrance here, right? Is that, uh, which belt do I need to join? This one. And then I could just join this up. All right, so it looks like we have our pieces there being sent off, which is good. Uh, we got one sent off there. I just got to join you. Oh, no, wrong one. You to there. Ah, like that. Okay. You got to drag it over. Interesting. It's pretty neat. All right, so it looks like uh, we're starting to get through the mix-up of belts here, almost done. And now these are going to go. And we seem to have two full belts, so that's really nice. Starting to get a little bit better on my uh, my abilities to create more more production, which is good because going forward we're going to need a lot, right? So they want us to do trains, but we're not going to do that right away. <laughs> I'm going to experiment with that off of uh, off cam because I have no idea how those are going to work and how well they're going to perform, right? Because I'm sure we're going to have to scale up quite considerable to in order to use trains because you have to feed those trains probably a lot of material, I'm assuming, right? So anyways, I'm going to let this go now that it's all uh, up and running properly and we'll be back to do the next shape. So, much, not much time later, we managed to get this uh, all done. Now we need to put a red star underneath, which is uh, going to be pretty easy. Since we got like a, a red one right here, or a star right here, and now we just need to paint it. So I think that's going to be the game plan. We will do a double. Do, do, do. Got to get off of them first, man. All right, so now we got the four, all these down. Now we need to bring them into a paint application. Now we've got the, the paint application thing down. Now let's grab our paint from over here. Now that should all get painted red. And then now we just gotta join that up over here. To about here I think would be good. Then we could put like a platform. And then what we'll do is we'll cut these ones off temporarily. We'll bring these ones down. And then now we have the green coming on one side. And the red shapes coming on the other. So now everything is backed up and we're good to go. We can join these onto the main line. So our main line is right here. So that's pretty good. We'll join those up. Those will be going into the three and four, which were the same ones that we were doing over there. And there we go. Our pieces are starting to go into the, into the vortex. Uh, there is going to be a little bit of a lag. Uh, I noticed that. But still, we're pumping in two pretty decent sized rows, so shouldn't take too long to go. But in the meantime, we can start working on this blue one. And I've been having a little look around. And where are we now? Um, it was out here somewhere. Oh, there it is. So we're going to use this one right here. What we'll do is we'll cut it in half. And we will glue them back together. And then we will paint them blue. And I think that would be a good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and set something up and we'll be right back. All right. So this is kind of what I came up with. I decided to more or less make a bunch of different rows. So that way we can have a huge input. 
Uh, I forgot to do these ones over here. I'll have to put the other conveyor belts here afterwards. There, that way we can be making all kinds of these. I'm going to try to ramp up production as much as I can from this point on, just to make it uh, things go a little bit quicker. But uh, now that we seem to have all these rows. So, um, there. That should be pretty good. Now that gives us uh, everything we need. Now we just need to paint these bad boys. So now we should have four belts being furnished into here. And then now if we grab our paint, we'll just grab this like that. And we'll furnish all of you guys into one another. And then we'll make sure we have more than enough paint going in there. And then now we just need to connect these ones into the main line. So there, now as our blue ones join, we have uh, quite the little collection going on here now. That's great. But now we can go start working on the next part. Uh, the next part of the milestone has this piece on top. And I think we should start doing that right away. And then that way, when it comes time for the blue ones to be done, well, we can just join them all up and, and go from there. So the pieces I'm deciding to use, um, where are they? think they're on this side yeah so we have a square here and we have a half circle so I'm going to cut this one up and same with this and we'll get rid of this half part and then we'll flip them around and all that good stuff and and use these ones so I'll get these ones ready and I'll come back all right so this is what I came up with for putting everything back together again uh, I fed each one so they turn them around in the right uh, orientation and then I made four different rows of stackers, and now we got four different rows of the same type of thing here. So now all we're doing is we're just missing the little bit for that. And we're doing pretty good. So now we can claim this. We can get some more points. We're operator level three now. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> That's pretty good. We're gaining science, which is pretty awesome. So now we just got to wait for these blue ones to finish. And then we'll be able to put the new piece we just made on top of these ones. All right, and there we go. We got that one all done, which is good for us. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, delete these. And we'll... Oh. There we go. We'll delete them since we don't need them no more. And I'll go back and I'll delete all of this to about here, I guess. And then we'll join them up with our newfound shape that we made over here. Oh, they're going to be over here. Awesome. All right, so we'll bring our new shape roughly where here where's our highway the highway is here right yeah well we'll make it connect to that one so we'll put it here sounds good you will make um here how many lanes is this only two right yeah Anyway, I can ramp that up to four. All right, so now we got uh, all four lanes being furnished now. So that way uh, we should be able to do a nice big setup over here now. Uh, let's bring our other pieces we have over here. Four lane setup. All right, so now we should have our piece here. So now we should uh, just be able to bring it back and put it onto the belt which would be this one right here. So we should be able to just go like that. Um, second thought. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these up one, right? Uh, 
There we go. Then we'll connect the belt. I think that would be better. Because then they'll all be on the top row. And then that way I could just come over here. I can go up to the top row here. And hopefully this should all join. If I put it into the right row. Looks like I did. <laughs> Alright, perfect. Then we just gotta sit there and wait for this monstrosity to, uh, to get going. Alright, got all of our pieces coming in now. That's pretty awesome. Uh, they're not full belts, but uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, how much production we're going to be pulling out of this. So it shouldn't take long to fill up the uh, 8,000 so we can move on to the next one. But I'm going to call it there for this episode. We managed to do pretty damn well. We almost got this whole milestone complete in one episode, which was pretty awesome. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Peace, take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.